Hey everyone, it's Denise Donahue, your mortgage nerd. I put together this spreadsheet last night because honestly it was driving me crazy. I get so many people that reach out to me that ask, how does my credit score impact my interest rate that I'm getting? And nobody actually thinks about how their credit score could also impact something called mortgage insurance. You've probably heard of it, PMI, uh, which stands for private mortgage insurance or mortgage insurance. That's probably the terms you've heard. But on conventional loans, they associate a rate based on several factors, but one of the key ones is based on your credit score. And that's what determines how much you pay in that monthly MI or PMI that you might have heard. Again, this is for conventional loans only. But I, I was, I plugged in some numbers last night and there's a million disclaimers I have to go over which are here. I wanted you guys to know that this is based on a home in Texas in Plano, a single family home that you plan to live in. Um, I'm basing it on a 300,000 loan amount with 5% down and take a look at this. You'll see here that with a credit score of 800, the MI rate is 0.41% and on a $300,000 loan that would make the payment $102 a month. If your credit score is a 780, it's the same. If it's a 760, it's the same. So no matter if your credit was a 760 or 780, uh, your monthly MI would be the same. Now when we get down below to 740, so if your credit score was at a 740, it jumps up $45 a month and your monthly mortgage insurance would be $147.50. Well, when you go down to a 720, it jumps up another $35 a month. When you get down to 700, it jumps up another $35 a month. That's almost, that's over a hundred dollars difference from a 760 to a 700 just in your mortgage insurance. So if you're using calculators online and trying to guesstimate about what you can afford, they don't know this information in your credit score. They're just giving you a generic amount, and I can promise you it's going to underestimate and it's going to give you a lower payment than what it actually is, which is why it's so important that you get pre-qualified and get a home buyer's roadmap as soon as possible. A 680 jumps it up to $270 a month. And then look at this. When it gets to a 660, it goes to $355 a month. A 640, it jumps up to 375. And then look, a 620 credit score jumps it up to $402 a month. That is, look at this, 102 versus 42. That's $300 more a month that you have to pay until you reach 20% equity in the home or you refinance. And you have to pay that as an insurance to the mortgage lender. So your credit score not only has an impact on your interest rate, but it also has an impact on your mortgage insurance, which is why somebody like myself, who's a certified mortgage planner, is gonna look at your total overall scenario and say, okay, do you want the lowest interest rate or do you want the lowest monthly payment? Which is more important? Because I might be able to get you a lower monthly payment using a different loan program. Yes, it might have a slightly higher interest rate, but if your credit score is below 700, it might make more financial sense because conventional loans charge you, they begin to overcharge you when you have a credit score under 700. And so I don't get in trouble by, you know, the CFPB, this isn't an actual quote, this is for illustration purposes. So no, I'm not quoting everybody who's watching this, a specific quote, this stuff changes all the time. But in theory, this is why you want to hire certified mortgage planners, because we're going to look at a planning approach that says, OK, we don't want just the lowest interest rate. We want the loan that makes the lowest overall financial sense to help you build as much equity as possible so that ultimately you can make more money on this home and use it for the next home purchase. So I just thought I'd share this with you in my next video. I'm going to show you guys a similar chart, but based off of your actual credit score and interest rate. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, leave them below. If you have any uh, questions, just go to my website. You can call, email, text, and even book an appointment right online at yourmortgagenerd.com. Take care.